Okay, great. John, thank you very much. Can you tell us how old were you when you first started cycling? I was like nine years old when I uh, did my first bicycling race and it was like a really small race in, uh, in, a, in a little town and uh, where I grew up in, in, in Bayern and my father asked me to uh, if I may would have an interest to, uh, to, uh, to start there and in the beginning I was not really not really confident enough or not, not, not really willing to do it and he said ah, I may come come on try it and then uh, yeah, we didn't train for it or anything but we just I was there and was just going uh, as fast as I could uh, two kilometers with my bike and then uh, in the end I won that race already and I think that was one uh, important important uh, situation in, uh, in my career as a cyclist that it was like the beginning and yeah in the end it was it was really a, a cool uh, a cool start and it uh, it let let the fire started in in, in my heart of and in, in for the passion of cycling did you play other sports when you were younger you, you mentioned you come from Bayern so I imagine uh, there are lots of people that like to play uh, football soccer did, did you play other sports yeah of course and uh, in general in Germany football and soccer is very big and Every every small boy who's who's in the school is is doing football in a in a small club in in the little towns there and it's uh it's like a little bit like normal eh, that you play with your friends football uh, in the afternoon and yeah and then it's I I did it for a long period like like more or less parallel that that, that I did like training training in cycling training in football and then. Yeah, at one point it, it was not possible anymore to to do it together, and then uh, yeah, I, I just decided to uh, to try to uh, become a professional cyclist, and, and uh, yeah, it was every year I, I, had, I had big success in uh, already in the beginning of my career and in juniors and already before, and I was I was actually pretty lucky that. Uh, neither healthy problems or some injuries or something like that it was just going well and that, uh, that made it pretty easy for me to step into the pros then. As you were coming up through the ranks as a junior and then as, a, as an Espoir and under 23, did you have any rivals that maybe you, uh, you came up through with that now are also professionals? Uh, actually I, I raced pretty early with uh, with Peter Sagan already and uh, with Taylor Finney had, uh, had uh, many races against him when I, I remember when when I did my uh, well, was my second year in, uh, in the, the world championships in the juniors and uh, he was he was he's young, one year younger than me and he won the time trial and I was I got second there in the time trial and it was the first time that uh, that uh, I heard this, the name of, of Taylor Finney and uh, that was actually his, his first big race I think and before the race I remember actually still that I uh, was speaking with a trainer and we, we were speaking about the, the start list and we, we saw uh, in front of me is an American guy he's Taylor Finney I never heard of this guy probably you can catch them uh, pretty soon so uh, yeah in the race it, it was impossible to catch him of course he, he won then and so uh, yeah that from this moment on uh, yeah Taylor Finney was was uh, was was on the on the level of high level of cycling so actually uh, a funny story um, now what about you you're a very talented rider you can uh, very sprint very well but you've also shown some promise in the, the classics what kind of rider do you hope that you'll become in the future? I think uh, it's like more uh, like a, a good all-rounder, a good, uh, good who can really uh, make good sprints. But I think I'm I'm not not fast enough to uh, to win a a real a bunch sprint against against the real fast guys. But if there's the possibility to to, to drop them. Then uh, I've I've really a good chance to uh, to win that race and uh, 
for example, like now in the the, 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 the stage when I sprinted against Saga, and that was especially it was exactly that what I can do and uh, how I can win races. And uh, yeah, when when the fast guys are dropped on the climbs, then uh, I'm still there, and then I'm still fast enough to beat the uh, the climbers and uh, the TC riders. And of course, I the, the classics are a, a very important part for me, and to which I want to improve for the future to uh, yeah to make big results in the in the one day races. What are you going to do uh, to celebrate when you win your first uh, stage at the Tour or, or your first Classic? Anything special? Yeah, it's a hard question. I think uh, at first uh, try on. Uh, Try, keep on trying it and keep keep yeah just win the race and then uh, afterwards you you can uh, think about how to celebrate and I think first we have to do it sounds good thanks very much John